What's good YouTube? This is Maxo. Today I'm going to show you three ways how to enhance your art in Photoshop. Most times when we finish painting, our painting kind of look a little bit boring. This occurs when we couldn't enhance the paint features when on the process of we painting. So if this happened to you and you couldn't do that on the process of painting, well, I'm really going to show you how to do that. But one method is setting. You always have to do this when you finish painting and when you've already had your background and finish everything you want to do. But I'm going to take you through three steps which you are going to use to enhance your art. Now you need to know you don't have to use every of these steps. You just need to pick one or two which you wish to use or you can make use of the three if you wish to so the first one i'm going to be showing you guys is the oil painting filter now the oil painting filter we all know what the oil painting filter do you use it to apply an oil effect to your artwork or whatever picture it is now most people don't use this for artwork but i find it a little bit interesting when you make use of it on artwork most people use it for normal pictures creating a smudge painting an oil painting but I'm really going to show you that this can do a whole lot of things to your artwork right now. So to do that, if I'm going to make use of the oil painting filter, I'm going to convert my artwork into a smart object so that I can go back and edit the oil painting filter if anything goes wrong. So to do that, you just have to go to your artwork, right click and hit convert to smart object. At this point, whatever filter you apply, you can go back and edit those filters. Now go up to filter, stylize, oil painting. Now you should know that this might not really work on every PC just because of your graphics card and so on. If you fail, if you fall into this part, don't worry, you can make use of other process. I can leave a link in the description to one of my video where you can achieve this oil painting effect without making use of the oil paint filter in photoshop so once you've opened up the oil painting filter you can check on the preview to live preview everything you are doing here so i don't really want it much i just want a little bit of it so what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce this i'm going to take it down a little bit just that i don't really want much of that then the stylization I'm going to take it down a little bit and now all the stuff you are seeing right here it's coming from the shine and i don't want much of the shine so i'm just going to reduce the shine a little bit to reduce that from the face okay so now you can see that it's no longer on the face now i can go back to my brush tool and take that up and then add a little bit of stylization to it so what i'm looking up to i'm looking at the scalp up here because it's happening a lot to this scarf now you can see what has really happened to this scarf so if you turn the preview off and when you turn it on you can see a whole lot of dimension it has at your work so now once you play around with all these sliders i'm not really going to go in depth of teaching you how to make use of the oil painting filter there are so many tutorials on youtube that teach you how to make use of the oil painting filter so you can check them out and use them so once you are done with all these steps which you want to do next thing is just for you to hit ok and now when you see your artwork you can see the difference it has add to it now it's not like looking so much sharp the way it is and it's not looking that dull it's giving it a kind of stylization that makes your artwork stand out from the regular artwork you are creating so now when you go back to your layer part you can see that you have the smart filter on its own layer beneath your main layer so you can turn that off and you can turn it on okay so now the second method i will be showing you guys is the high pass most of us know what a high pass does in photoshop it's just something common which most of us know but we really ignore those stuff most of the times the high pass filter helps you to sharpen your image now the reason for this high pass filter is because it's not really necessary to make use of this high pass filter but most times it is really good when you know you will be printing your artwork if you are printing your artwork that is when i mean print a large print when you are making a large print you have to what, keep 
your artwork as high as possible so that when it's been enlarged no quality will be reduced so with this high pass filter and the size of your work now the document my work size it's always on a higher part so when i go to image and image size you can see that my artwork is on 3 600 resolution and if i set this to pixel it's 2480 by 8508 this can do for printing it will really be okay for a large print but adding the high pass filter will make it more perfect for printing so let me show you that so now with the layer right click on it and duplicate the layer or you drag it down and create a new layer so when you do that set the blend mode of the above layer to vivid lights now you can see what has happened to your image don't worry now go up to filter orders and high pass okay so now you can see what is happening right here when I turn off the preview, you can see I turn on the preview. You can see that has bring back our image. So now you can play around with this. The higher you go, the more sharp your image will come. So around for this, I can say something around 2.5. It's okay for me. Now I can hit on okay. So when I turn this off, you can see what we have. When I turn this on, this is what we have after. Let me zoom in so that you can see that closely. So this is what we have before this is what we have after now making your artwork to look more sharp at this point when you print out your artwork it's really going to retain a high res that is if the printer is not that bad you know it's going to retain a really high res now the last method i will be showing you guys is the camera raw filter now the camera raw filter i know most of you will be wondering what the camera raw filter has to do with your artwork but i'm really going to tell you guys a lot the camera roll has been so much awesome to my artwork. I don't work without making use of the camera roll filter. Now, this artwork is a little bit desaturated. Like when I mean desaturated, the colors are not popping up, not really exactly the way I want it to be. So to tweak this, I can make use of the camera roll filter because it will give me the opportunity to go through each and every slider to modify them. Yes, of course, you can make use of the vibrance and probably the hue saturation add a little bit of saturation to it but it's not as real as the camera roll, or you don't have enough room to play around with exactly what you want so for me to make this of the camera roll filter I can make this to now you can make a backup of this if you wish to go back to make any modification now how can you make a backup of that I'm going to turn off the watermark layer now with the above layer selected just hold on Control or shift plus e on your keyboard to make a merge copy of both so now when you turn everything off let, let me turn it off so when you turn this off and on you can see that there is no difference now you can just turn this off or you can group them and so on so now once you make this with this copy right click again and convert to smart object because you will still be applying the filter so once you've done that go up to filter camera roll filter now in the camera roll filter we really don't want to do much with all these sliders but what i'm going to do right here i'm just going to increase the vibrance a little bit now as you keep working in the camera roll filter you can turn on between the before and the after to preview the progress you've been working on so now i will go into the hsl adjustment which is the hue saturation and luminance and i can go you can play around with the hue from this hue you can tweak some colors or the other which you want so now one is a little bit reddish i'm going to set this to somewhere around this is okay for me now i really don't want to play much with the yellows and so because the yellows is okay for me at this point so now i can increase the magenta as you can see you can see right here something is going on there i mean increase the purple and play a little bit with the magenta there you see like i want that to really really look more pinkish so now the hue is just for you to adjust the color switch between one color or the other you can see now this is adding a whole lot of cool stuff today. so this is really okay i'm going to play with the orange now with this like i said the hue is just going to make you switch from one color to the other 
just like the hue saturation now this the hue i mean to say or the hue saturation adjustment in directly in photoshop now the saturation determines how much how much saturated you want this to be you can increase the reds if you want you can increase the orange if you want you can increase the yellow but i'm not really going to do most of other stuff i'm going to increase the red i'm just i'm just going to increase it with a little pixel and just set the orange back to zero already you can see so much changes that is happening to our artwork you can see the before at the left and the after the right part now you can play around with all this so let me see i'm looking at the leaves let's try to add a little bit of saturation to the purples okay all right now this is okay now one last thing i really want to show you guys when you go over to the fx we have the vignetting the post crop vignetting now this vignetting allows you to concentrate on a particular part of your artwork now if i really want the viewers to concentrate on the facial part of this artwork with the vignetting i can do that now you have two options of the vignetting you can add a white vignetting to your artwork or you can add a black i always prefer the black you can add the black and play with the midpoint of it and also play with the roundness but i'm not going to be doing the vignetting because i'm really okay with all this stuff so now once you've done with everything you every adjustment you want to do just hit on what okay and now you are going to get this you can add up your watermark if you wish to or no so the last thing i always do to finally enhance the artwork to give it some kind of nice look is i always add them so i always add up some overlays so i've been gathering these overlays for so long you can check out dg photoshop he has a lot of this overlay and you can just download them from there so with that i'm going to drag one and drop so i'm going to drag this and i'm going to drop this now just put it right here and i'm going to resize it to somewhere around here and i'm just going to click on ok now you want to play with the blend mode you can play around with every blend mode which you really want to see but right here i'm going to make use of the color dodge because the color dodge add a whole lot of depth to the artwork with this overlay so when i select the color dodge you can see what's happening it's a little bit too harsh right then you just have to what, reduce the opacity of it now all these places that's a little bit harder you can just add a layer mask and erase some part of it or you can just resize it to take them out it's just the way you really want it to be just add a layer mask grab the brush too and just erase those parts so that is it my friend on how you can enhance your artwork in photoshop just these three simple steps remember the so first you make use of the oil painting filter from the oil painting filter you make use of the high parts and from the high parts you make use of the camera roll filter now if you continue doing this a whole lot of time you get to see that what within a period of time you got to start cleaning with your artwork so let's quickly check out between the before and the after so i'm just going to erase the oil painting from here and this is what we're having before and after before and after so you can see a whole lot of difference you have added to your artwork so this brings us to the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoy this and you le also learn how to enhance your artwork. If you do, don't forget to make use of the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button, ring the bell icon so that you, my friend, don't miss any new tips and tricks I will be posting every week. So see you guys in my next video and make sure to have a nice day.